on, dear. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning. Good morning dear. Hello, Jimmy. Morning. Have a good gallop? Yes, fine, thanks. Oh, staying for breakfast? I was hoping to. The vines give me quite an appetite. Oh, of course. Good evening, you, Auntie. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, dear. And a first start for Uncle. Mm -hmm. I've got one from Daddy. Oh, here's one from Louise. Oh, where is she now? Well, the <coughs> postmark's me. Yeah. Oh. I'll read them later. <coughs> Excuse me, Jimmy. Yes, sure. That's right, Jimmy. Help yourself to toast. Thank you. Do you have some butter? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Um, what's the news from your father now? He said... Oh, I'll read it to you. Um, um, uh, my hands are so full just now that I'm seriously thinking of enlarging my staff. However, in spite of conferences, consultations with counsel and whatnot, I'm determined to be with you on your birthday. Your loving father. Mm. Morning, Willie. Morning. Any letters? No. Any uh, telegrams? No. Any phone calls? No. Any clients? No. Any. No. Haven't I told you to say, sir, would you speak to me? Yes, but that was only if anybody was in the office. Oh, no, no. I'd like you to say it all the time. Sounds more dignified, you know, more business like. I don't like that no to the question I ask you. If the answer's no, I can't say yes. No, but you could say yes, sir. No, I can't. Why not? Because the answer's no. No what? No letters, no telegrams, no phone calls, no clients, no nothing. Oh, well, <coughs> that's what I was trying to get at. No need to start an argument about nothing at all. And I don't like you sitting there with your feet on the desk. Supposing a client walked in. What a hope. Yeah. What'd you say? I said, what a hope. What a hope, sir. I tell you to light my stove first thing in the morning? Yeah. Well, why didn't you do it? There's no gas. It's turned off. Turned off? Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> well, you remind me to write a letter to the gas company. All right. Impertinence, cutting off the gas like that. It's like an icebox. That'll freeze to death. One. Is it any use my ringing this bell? Not till you get some new batteries. Oh. <clears throat> well, what do you want? Haven't I told you not to leave these things lying on my desk? File them. Well, oh, file them. Anything else? Uh, well, uh, what are you reading? What is this? Wild West Weekly. Good heavens, you don't mean to tell me you, you read rubbish like this, do you? Yeah. Well, a boy of your age and intelligence. I don't mind you reading fiction, but why don't you choose a good book like Tom Brown's School Days, Westwood Ho. But this stuff, I mean, this is... Look at it. Mustang Pete lurched forward. Up went the sheriff's gun. Wham! The rifle spur. Wham! The rifle spur. I mean, this is absolute piffle of rubbish, my boy. Absolute nonsense. Is it this week? Yeah. Oh, right. <coughs> now, let's see. Uh, what do we start today? Well, are we going to play Ludo? Play Ludo? Yeah. You won a Lemkin from me yesterday. Aren't you going to give me a chance to win it back? Well, uh, that's a client. No. Yes. Yes, I heard you talk about Ludo. Go on, let him in. Uh, no, 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 don't let him in. Uh, you know what to do when he comes in? Yeah. You know what to say? Yeah. Here are the papers, sir, from the Smithson versus Clarkson case. That's right. Don't forget plenty of sirs. Okay. Is Mr. Stubbins in? Yes, sir. Come right in. Is that uh, Snoop, 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 partner and Snoop and Snoop? Well, I'd like to speak to Mr. Snoop. Oh, uh, very well. Just put them down there. Very well, sir. Is that all, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> yes, but of course, with so many points still sub judici, it's, uh, it's very difficult to say. I have the details here. I, uh, oh, pardon me. Yes, I've been planning over 20,000, you know. Yes. Make our stand on the Hopkinson versus Poole uh, uh, and Smedley, Arkwright intervening. 
Yes, because that was a German sign he died. And we were left in media threes. Did I, uh, huh? Yeah, oh, yes, yeah, yeah. just as well, I think, in view of Spencer's enormous refresher. Anyway, we'll retain the uh, status quo ante, and uh, I should be inclined to go for 50,000. Yes. Yes, that's right. All right, all right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have you finished? Uh, yes, thanks. Won't you take a chair? No, um, I've been sent to take the phone. Excuse me, sir, the golf is sighted on the phone. He's on the what? The golf is sighted on the... <laughs> the golf is sighted outside. <laughs> Yeah, I want to see you, sir. Oh, I can always keep that up now. There's nobody here. Yes, there is. Better for the rent. Oh, hold here. Well, uh, uh, tell him I'm not in. Tell him I'm ill. I told you a dozen times I don't want to see him. And I, I'm not going to see him. I, uh... Oh, uh, how do you do, Mr. Bennett? I'm uh, very glad to see you. you. Step this way. Uh, Mr. And, uh... Stubbins, you know your rent's already two weeks overdue. Oh, yes, but, uh, you know, you gave me a month's grace, and uh, I still have two weeks to go. Well, at the end of the two weeks, you can put this up. It'll save me the trouble. Good day. Uh, good day. Good day. Well, well of all the soft idiots. Pull it up in a thought, I'd save him the trouble. I've never heard anything like it all my life. Why didn't you remind me the rent wasn't paid? I did. When? When I reminded you about my wages. You told me not to mention either of them again. Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh. Well, by the way, what am I paying you now? Well, you're supposed to be paying me eight shillings a week. Eight? Yeah. Ah, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. After the holidays, I'll raise you to ten. Well, I haven't had the eight yet. Well, you'd rather have ten than eight, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, that's settled. Oh, I'm uh, I'm going down to my country place for the weekend. So uh, we'll close the office tomorrow. It's me. Ah. Ah. Oh, I might as well close it now. Better still. And, uh... When I come back, you remind me to write a very nasty letter to the electric company, will you? Okay. I'm Mr. Stabbing. Hello, Lucy. My, that lunch smells good. I'm ready for it, too. Well, sir, Mrs. Peabody said as how... As how Mrs. I was... Peabody says as how? No, 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 Lucy. Mrs. Peabody said that. Now then, what did she say? Well, sir, Mrs. Peabody said, said that. that. As how I was to give you this. That's right. <coughs> well, uh, I'll attend to this after lunch. Well, sir, Mrs. Peabody said you wanted to have no lunch till you paid your rent. Uh, no, no, Mrs. Peabody must have said that I was to have no lunch. No, she said you wasn't to have no lunch. Well, that means I was to have some. No, you wasn't to have none. No, 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 no. No, the way you're saying it, Lucy, you see, you're using two negatives, you see, which makes it a positive. That means I was to have some. No, she was positive you wasn't to have none. Well, I'll see Mrs. Peabody about it later. Right, sir. Mr. Stubbins, can I see you a moment, please? Uh, uh, yes, yes, certainly. Yes. Uh, excuse me. Certainly. Uh, yes, Mrs. Peabody? I'd like your advice about a little legal matter. Oh, yes, 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 certainly. Are you pleased? In the case of a boarder who is over a month behind with his rent, would I be justified in throwing him out? Well, uh, of course, there's always a question of uh, habeas corpus, you know, which might involve you in an action for uh, quid pro quo, and uh, ipso facto. I think the simpler way would be to ask him to pay. Well, I'm asking you. Yes, I'm telling you. Yes, and I'm telling you. Oh, you mean me? You know perfectly well I mean you. Oh, I, I thought you were talking about someone else. <clears throat> Listen. You owe me over a month's rent. Good gracious, how time flies. It only seems yesterday that I paid you, you know. What I want to know is when you are going to pay me again. Well, I'll, uh, I'll pay you next week. You told me that last week. Now, Mr. Stubbins, you either pay me now or you don't eat or sleep again in this house. Oh, oh well, well, if that's how you feel about it, Mrs. Peabody. It's easily settled, isn't it? It's a simple matter. 
Oh, oh dear. Well, well, I... My money, what? I've been robbed. Or, or did I leave it at the office? No, no, I, 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 I've been robbed. That leaves a balance of, um, two pounds, eight and seven. Eh? I said that leaves a balance of two pounds, eight and seven. Oh, well, there's just a little item of, uh, of six and eightpence to be deducted, you know. What for? Legal advice. Oh. Watch out. You know, I, I don't remember putting that five pound note in my pocket. You didn't. Eh? No, I put it there. You? Yes, I saw you was in a bit of hole and I thought I'd like to help you out. Well, that was very sporting of you. <laughs> Thanks very much. It's all right. Yes, well, I hope to be able to do the same for you someday. You'll need a lot of practice. Mr. Stubbins, you did give me that five pound note, didn't you? No, you took it. very much afraid I wouldn't get here myself. You've no idea the wangling I had to do to get away. Did you come down by train? Uh, no, by road. Oh, where's your car? Uh, oh, oh, the car. Oh, I, I left that, uh, I left about two miles away. You know, my, my chauffeur, uh, uh, Pickford, careless monkey, taking the wrong turning, ran into a bank and smashed the fender and the back axle, I think, uh, is this Jimmy? Oh, yes, I'm so sorry. Oh. How do you do, sir? How do you do? I've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, well, that's very nice. Well, where are all the folks? They're inside. Come along. Yeah. Hello, Margaret. Hello, Benjamin. My word, you look fine. Oh, thank you, Benjamin. Uh, and how are you? Oh, busy, you know, very busy. Hmm. Hello, Roger. Oh, you're looking well, too. Go on. Yes. Daddy, I do hope you'll be able to stay for a few days this time. Yes, that would be nice. Oh, yes, I'd be, I'd, I'd be very, uh, 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 well, I'm afraid that um, business won't permit, you know. Oh, Daddy, that's too bad. It's always the same. Ah, but I, I did manage to get down for your birthday, didn't I? Oh, that reminds me. Many have to return. Oh, thank you. Oh, Barbara, time we were getting along. Yes, Uncle, but... Oh, well, now that Daddy's here, don't you think it's look? Oh, it's all right. Don't, don't worry about me. I don't want to upset your arrangements. I'll be here when you come back. You sure you don't mind? No, oh, certainly not. And uh, don't let me detain you, either. Uh -huh. Well, I'll join you two at the meet if you go on ahead. I want to consult your father on a, on a matter of business. All right, then. So long, Jimmy. Cheers, sir. Cheers. Cheers. Have a good time. Ah, nice boy, that Jimmy, isn't he? Oh, yes, he is. He and Barbara, you know, they, they want to be engaged. Oh, is that so? Huh? Yes, his father's a great friend of mine, Lord Burbank. The Burbanks are one of the oldest families in England. Oh, well, I, I wouldn't hold that against him. I should think not. Margaret? Oh, uh, yes, all right, Roger, if you'll excuse me. Sit down, Benjamin. <coughs> Now, look here, Benjamin. When my wife's sister died, I undertook to bring up your daughter and to give her the social advantages to which she was entitled. Up to the present, I have scrupulously carried out my side of the bargain. I've even managed to conceal from Barbara the fact that you are a failure. A miserable failure. Oh, well, I wouldn't say miserable. On your part, you undertook to keep away from here, except on certain special occasions such as this. When I come back, I shall bring Lord Burbank with me. So the less you say while he's here, and the sooner you leave, the better for all concerned. I won't have a repetition of what happened last time. Uh, well, you mean when the butler showed me the wine cellar? Exactly. And the time before. Oh, but uh, then the butler only... Every time a, you come here, a butler has to go. Thank heaven this fellow is a total abstainer. Uh, time I was going. Well, I don't know how you're going to entertain yourself till we get back. The drinks are all locked up. Huh, what a pity. What a pity.
Did you ring, sir? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Can I get you anything, sir? Hey? Is there anything you want, sir? Well, uh, uh, well, I wouldn't... Uh, <clears throat> I wouldn't mind... Uh, I'm very sorry, sir, but the drinks are all locked up. Uh, yes, sir, I know that, but... Uh, oh, I mean, are they? Oh. Oh, well, I wasn't thinking of a drink. As a matter of fact, I, I don't... Uh, I don't touch it at all. Well, really, sir, no. I'm a teetotaler, too. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not exactly teetotaler, you know, but uh, I only take it as a medicine. Oh, really? Mm. I suffer with spasms, you know, and I find a little brandy or whiskey or gin. In fact, uh, any kind of spirit is, uh, is the only thing that relieves me. Do you have them often, sir? Well, uh, they're not regular, you know. That's the trouble, you see. I, I never know when one's likely to come on. <clears throat> oh. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Whew. Oh, that was nasty. Oh, dear. Oh, could I get you an aspirin, sir? Oh, no, 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 that would only aggravate it. No, there's only one thing would, uh, would ease it, and as uh, that's locked up, well, I suppose I have to grin and bear it. I suppose this, uh, this is locked, isn't it? Yes, but perhaps Sir Roger would open it under the circumstances. Oh, no, no, I don't want him to know. No, he would only, uh, he would worry. Oh, well, perhaps one of my keys might open it. Let's try it, eh? Yes. Any luck, sir? No, no, I'm afraid not. No, 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 no. Pity, isn't it? So you haven't got a hairpin? No. No, of course not, no. Hmm, shame. Well, that's funny, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know, I've got a, a safe in my office that opens exactly the same way. Really? Yes. Ah, this will soon put me right. Shall I pour it out for you? Oh, no, no, no. I know just exactly how much I need. Well, sure. It's a marvellous remedy, that, you know. Maybe you have a spasm, I advise you to take it. Oh, I never have spasm, sir. The only thing I'm troubled with is the toothache. Toothache? Yes, I have a hollow tooth here. Have you? Let me see it. Oh, so sure you have, yes. Is it aching now? A little, sir. Is it? Oh, I can stop the making at once. Why, this is the very stuff. Oh, no, sir, I never drink alcohol. No, I, I don't want you to drink it. Just, just hold a little in your tooth, you know, like this. Watch, watch me. Hmm? Go on, try that. Go on, it won't hurt you. Go on. Uh -huh, that's it. Now, that'd be better. Well... <coughs> oh, I swallowed it. Oh, no, you mustn't swallow it. No, just hold it in your tooth. Watch me again, look. Hmm? Hmm? Go on, try it again. Take a little more this time. That's it. All right, feeling any better now? I do believe it's taking effect, sir. Do you? Good, you, you keep on doing that. That's the idea. Now. That's it. <laughs> now, you ask this one. This is my favourite shop. Good break, old boy. Well, aches and pains, aches and pains. Sorry. I want three for game. You're not in my class, old boy. No, billiards is not my game. Well, uh, got any more games? Bring them out. I'll play in any of them. I've got a game I'll beat you at. Oh, shall we? Come on. Come on. Now, you watch this one. Uh, this is my favourite shot. Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad your father will be able to use that. Yes, Greg. <laughs> I'll do my best. Thank you, know. Where's Daddy? Oh, he's about somewhere. Roger, well, just ring the bell and ask Martin to yes. find him, will you? Bye. 
Wonderful, old boy. <laughs> You've rung the bell. Bell? Yes. Bell? Oh, I'm wanted. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, no, 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 no. You finish your game. I'll go. Oh, no, no, no. No, that's what I get paid for. <laughs> oh. Now, which of them wants me? Those two. Oh. You know, Barbara, I shall enjoy meeting your father. I've heard such a lot about him from Jimmy. Oh. Yes, uh, probably this is the last opportunity you'll have for some time. <laughs> you see... Uh... Yes, he's such a busy man. Always snowed under by briefs and things. <laughs> you know, I like these professional men. Oh, Sir Isaac, you are laughing. Sir Roger Wilburton to see you, sir. Hello, lad. Hi, hey, what's this? Yeah, I bet you can do it. Go on, have a try. Huh? Go on, you can do it. Hold your stomach in. Go on. It's just what I expected. Not content with ruining your own life, you're now bent on ruining your daughter's. Who's ruining my daughter's life? Who is? Bring him in here. I'm talking about you. For me? Why, well, what have I done? You've chosen a time like this to reduce yourself to a state of, of pitiful intoxication. And Lord Burbank here to meet you. Oh, is he here? Good, let's go and meet him. Come on. You'll not meet anyone. I've been indulgent in the past, but, but this is the last straw. You'll go straight out of this house. Immediately. Shall I pack his bags, sir? Yes. And your own as well. You're discharged. Both of you will leave my house. And if you've got a scrap of decency left in you... You'll go without anyone seeing you. What did you say? Shh. We mustn't let anybody see us. Hey, I thought I told you to go downstairs and... Hello, Nick. How are you? I haven't Hello, seen you since the old Ma broke up. <laughs> What's your racket now? Oh, I'll ask him. What's his racket? <laughs> I'm standing down there piccalilly trying to read them signs. I feel the hand in my pocket. I turns around and slug the guy, and who is it but Nick? Can you beat that for us? I nobody was more surprised than I was. I bet you were at this. But slug tells me you haven't found it so easy over here. Yeah, I've been here six weeks, and all I've got to show for is a hotel bill as long as your arm. Well, there's plenty of easy picking here. Uh, don't I know it? I had a sucker all framed and ready to knock over when that dumb little dame I brought from the States goes and gums up the works. Is that so? I suppose it's my fault the guy turned out to be a bankrupt. Certainly. Why didn't you check up on him? Why didn't I? Why didn't you? You're supposed to be the brains of this outfit. Say, listen, you... Can it, can it? Who's the boyfriend? Nick Harris. Hi, Nick. Kelly's the name. Goldie Kelly. How are you, Goldie? Welcome to London. Huh. You're welcome to it. I'll take New York. You'll take London and like it. Oh, boy, can I pick them? How can you do anything without cooperation? Listen, you're not in America now. He thinks all he's got to do is to walk into a bank, pull out a gat, say, stick him up like he does at home. You can't get away with that sort of stuff over here. Now, it's a little bit different. But it must be done. There you are. There's a mugget now. Here, suppose I had just the right sort of a bank job for you. Yeah, what sort of a right job? Why, there's a bloke that lives in the same place as me what's got an office right over a bank. What's his record? He's got no record. He's a lawyer, a proper mug. Well, can he be handled? Sure, he owes me some money. Now, he's gone away for the weekend. Would you like to come down and have a look at the layout? Sure, why not? We've got nothing to lose. Say, boss, I was thinking... What with? Oh, can I even make a suggestion? No, things are bad enough as they are. Come on. Ah, this is a lot of baloney to me. Well, Jim knows what he's doing. Hello, Stubbins. Oh, oh, hello, hello. I've been looking for you. Oh, oh, I, I haven't forgotten it, you know. I owe you five pounds, don't I? Yes, well, uh, uh, I'll write you a check now. <coughs> 
Oh, dear, oh, dear, dear. Well, what have I done with my check? I haven't come here for that. Oh, good. Oh, haven't you? Oh, oh well, uh, uh, will you sit down? Oh, thanks. Uh, Mr. Stubbins, Mr. Riley. Oh, uh, oh, how do you do, Mr. Riley? Hiya, pal. Uh, oh, hiya, pal. Uh, uh, well, are you free to take a very important case immediately? Uh, uh, take, uh, take what? An important case. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, oh, an important case. Oh, oh, well, wait a minute. Let me see now. Uh, well, I'll just have a look at my diary. Lord Cotley versus uh, Snellgrove and Wade, uh, Brixton Radiators versus Humidor Steel, <coughs> Smith versus Copeland Jones, Arsenal versus Tottenham. Oh no! Uh, uh, wait a minute. Just, uh, uh, well, yes, I think I could take it uh, if it's immediately. Good. Well, get your hat and coat, because I want you to meet these people. A couple of rich Americans. Oh, rich are they? Yes. Oh, well, I'd be very glad to meet them. Well, come on. Oh yes, yes. You know it's. Um, it's a long time since I had any uh, uh, rich um, uh, American plan. No. Well, whether you like it or not, that's it. Now listen, I don't mind helping you put the squeeze on some of these rich old mugs, but when it comes to tapping a bank, you can count me out. So listen, you, I'm the. I know you're the brains of the outfit, but you can still count me out. If you don't do what I want you to do, I'll count you out, all right. But you won't be able to hear me. Why, you big son of. You... Go on, get in there and get yourself fixed up. Come in. This is the gentleman I spoke to you about. Mr. Stubbins, meet Mr. Wilson. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Stubbins. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Wilson? Oh, Gloria, dear. Yes? Come here, dear. Mr. Stubbins, I want you to meet my uh, ward, Miss Gloria McCracken. How do you do, Mr. Stubbins? Uh, uh, Stubbins is the name. Oh, pardon me, Mr. Stubbins. Yes, it's an old English name. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, won't you sit down, Mr. Stubbins? Yes. Thank you. Will you have a drink? Oh, no, no, no. Well, idea. suit yourself. Uh, oh, well, if I do, uh, uh, just a small one. Okay. Slug, uh, Mr. Riley, serve some drinks, will you? Okay, boy. Well, let's get down to business. Mr. Stubborn, are you by any chance familiar with the old Scottish clan McCracken? Well, I'm not exactly familiar with them, but uh, of course I've heard of them. You have? Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, I've heard of nothing against them. So much the better. Well, this is the situation. My little ward here is the sole descendant of the branch of the McCracken family that settled in America many years ago. Now, the McCracken title, castle and estates, are being held in trust for want of an heir. Mr. Stubbins, I am positive that this little lady is the rightful heir. But we've got to prove it. That's where you come in. Yes? Yes. I want you to trace the American McCrackens from Chicago straight back to that castle in Scotland. Do you think you can do it? Uh, well, yes. I, I don't think there'd be any difficulty about that. <coughs> I'd love to do anything I could for, uh, for Mr. Uh, Miss McCulloch. McCracken. Uh, uh, McCracken, yes. Good. Of course, it'll, uh, it'll mean a lot of hard work and take some time and uh, quite a little, uh, a little money. Well, if everything works out as we hope, it'll be worth it. Yes. Of course, you understand that in, uh, in cases of this kind, it's, it's usual to advance... Uh, uh, how much? Uh, a little uh, on account... Uh, oh, well, uh, well, suppose we say... Uh, how about a hundred pounds? Uh, uh, hey? A hundred pounds enough? Oh, oh I, I couldn't dream of that. Okay, make it a hundred and fifty. Yeah. Have a share. Oh, uh, oh, thank you. You're thank hired. You. I'll be down at your office the first thing in the morning to look to join uh, to uh, get things straightened up. Huh. Well, well, don't you think you'd better give me a day or two just to, to get things moving? Okay. Uh, well, good luck. Uh, good luck. Uh, well, here's to the last of the McCulloch's. Uh, McLaren's. 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 Uh, You know, these McCrackens are far more numerous than I ever imagined they were. Why, there are thousands and thousands of them. However, I'm, I'm doing it in a very systematic way, as you see. I went back to the uh, earliest existing records and uh, started from there. Uh, don't you think it would be easier for you to start at the present and work back? Well, I, I tried that with the, uh, the Edinburgh McCrackens, you see. I started with Angus, and I went back... Oh, I've got it over here. I'll show you. Now, uh, well, there's a lot of ways of doing this, but this is the, uh, this is the legal way, you see. It gives you the whole thing at a glance. Now, let me see. Now, uh, as I was saying, I started with Angus here, you see, and I traced him back to 1782 uh, on his father's side. Here you are, Stubbins. We got every one of the bloke had let us take. And a couple he wouldn't. What do you want them? Oh, put them down there. This way, mate. Okay. 
Now, uh, taking this branch here, Mary and John. There's a boy out here with a parcel, sir. Uh, oh, well, I'll be right out. All right, sir. Uh, uh, will you excuse me a moment? Why, certainly. What's in it? I don't know. The old boy and I are spending a lot of money lately. Buying this and buying this. Mr. Stubbins? Yes. Uh, oh. oh, yes. Boy, does that guy slay me. Yeah, but don't go wisecracking with him. He knows his trees. I'll say he does. Thank you, sir. Ah, little present for my daughter. Think this is pretty? Hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a honey. Hmm. Douglas, do we lunch or do we lunch? Lunch? Why, is it that days already? Good heavens, how time flies. Well, I'd ask you to have lunch with us, Stubbins, but I don't want to take you away from your work. Oh, that's all right. I don't bother about lunch as a rule. I haven't been eating much lately. I, I, I've been on a diet, you know. I'll send the boy for some sandwiches. Okay, come along, dear. Well, see you later. Yes, I should be here if you want me. I expect I should work late tonight. You see, I simply must find Alex's father. What say, Stubbins? I didn't expect you to work nights at this. In fact, I'd rather you didn't. Oh, that's all right. When, when work's interesting, you know, it's not work at all. Say, I thought tonight was the night we was going to pull uh, out... What he means to say is, what are we going to do about the other appointment? Oh, don't you worry about that. You boys stay here and help Mr. Stubbins. You'll hear from me later. Well, Douglas, do we eat or do we eat? Coming, dear. Oh, so long, Stubbins. So don't long. work too hard. No, 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 don't worry. Now, I think the first thing we'd better do is to phone your Uncle Roger and let him know we're in town. Yes. We can look at Daddy, too, while we're here. Oh, well, I don't know about your Daddy. He's usually so terribly busy. But we can try. Yes, we can try. Well, the track still goes. I think you're off your nuts, trying to tap a bang. Yeah, well, if you hadn't been such a flop, we wouldn't be doing it. Do we have to go over all that again? No, shut up. It's settled. We're pulling that job tonight. Well, I think you're screwing. Oh, uh, why don't you give yourself up? I got a telephone. Thank you, Sir Roger. Mental cigar. The usual brand, Sir Roger? Yeah. Very good, Sir Roger. Thank you, Sir Roger. Hey. Yes, madam? Who's the old walrus over there? Walrus, madam? Yeah, the big shot with the handlebars. Handlebars? Yeah. This is Sir Roger Wimpleton, one of the richest baronets in England. Well, wrap my mouth. Uh, pardon, madam. Huh? Oh, skip it, skip it. Yes, madam. I beg your pardon, but, but haven't I met you someplace before? I wouldn't be at all surprised. I've been lost at places. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. It's awfully nice to see you again, Sir Roger. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you, Miss, uh, Miss, uh... Van Dusen. Gloria Van Dusen. Yes, that's of course. How stupid of me. The bad news. Me. You know, I have a very bad memory for names, but I never forget a face. <laughs> You'd make a good flash for it. Uh, I mean, detective. Oh, quite. Hello, Mr. Stubbins. Oh, this is Wilson speaking. Listen, I've got a new slant of that family tree business. I want to talk it over with you right away. But I'm tied up and can't get back to your office, so you better come down here. 
I was up to my eyes in work at the moment, Mr. Wilson, and uh, I don't like the idea of leaving it just now. But this is important. You come down to the hotel and wait for me in my room. Oh, I'll fix it up so you can get the key. Well, that's very awkward, Mr. Wilson, you see. Now, let me talk to Riley. Oh, all right. Mr. Wilson wants to speak to you, Mr. Riley. Me? Yes. Want me, boss? Son? It's okay. We're pulling that job tonight. Gee, that's great, boss. But what about the old, uh, what about Mr. Stubbins? Well, don't you worry about him. I'll see he's kept busy at the hotel. Listen, as soon as he leaves, you and Nick get the junk together and pick me up at Harry's bar. Okay. We'll be there with bells on. He wants us to look at the things all year round. Oh, that's a good idea. Yes, that'll help me a lot. Very nice of you to carry on for me. And so, when we came back from Florida, my brother put the yacht up for the winter and closed the Long Island home and... We came to London for a rest. Yes, I, uh, I understand that life in America is very much more hectic than it is over here. Well, oh, you've no idea. We were glad to get away for a little while. <laughs> oh, allow me. I couldn't think of it. It would be a great pleasure. Well, it's very kind of you. Thank you, sir, Roger. I, um, I suppose you have engagements the whole afternoon. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought of doing a little shopping, but I don't know London very well. Where are the best shops here? Well, if you'd allow me, I should be uh, very pleased to show you. I'd love to if you're not too busy. Busy? I haven't got a thing to do. All right. Let's go. Yes. Good. Please, Sir Roger. And I hear things are much cheaper here than they are, uh... At home? Yes, uh, excuse me, will you? Hey, where do you think you're going? It's me, Aunt Jay. Well, wait a minute. And pray. You ready? Well, we'll get along, shall we? Yes. Yes, I'll see to that this afternoon. Yes, madam. Goodbye. Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Stubbins. Mr. Stubbins, oh, yes. Mr. Wilson would like you to go straight upstairs and wait for him. I'll give you the key. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hello, Daddy. Hello. I, I, what on earth are you doing up in town? Hello, Margaret. Hello. Oh, Auntie and I came up to do some Christmas shopping. Ah. Ah, it's a surprise, isn't it? Yes, it is. So this is where you hide yourself away. Thanks for living in the same hotel and we didn't know it. Come on, Auntie. Let's go in with Daddy for a moment. Hmm, well, we mustn't stay long. Oh, what a lovely suite. You know, I always imagined you living in a place like this. Eh? Uh, uh, oh, oh, yes, yes. Uh, yes, well, it's not bad, you know. I suppose, um, well, as hotels go, I suppose it's quite good. Oh, is that your bedroom, Daddy? Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 that's, uh, no, that's not the bedroom. That's, um, that's the door that leads to the other, uh, this, uh, the bedroom's over there. Oh, may I look? Uh, no. Uh, oh, yes, yes, of course, yes. Benjamin, what on earth has happened? Uh, why, why, what do you mean? Are you living here? Uh, oh, all this? Oh, oh well, I, I've been doing rather well lately. Yes, you must have been. I have. Uh, I hope you're not running into debt. Uh, oh, debt? Oh, no, no, Margaret. You, you know me better than that. Yes, but it's rather worrying. Well, wouldn't you like to see the bedroom, too? Uh, go on, go on, go on, have a look. Very nice bedroom. 
Oh, yes, it's, it's not bad, is it? It's a beautiful bedroom, Daddy. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I love the color scheme. Yes, Miss Wilson. My key? Mr. Subbins took it, sir. He's upstairs waiting for you now. Okay. Oh, well, I, I mustn't keep you from your shopping. Oh, we've got lots of time. Sit down, Daddy. Uh, yes, but uh, I was thinking of the time that the shops close, you oh, know. That's all right. They keep open much later, just before Christmas. Oh, oh yes, so they do. We've got yes. plenty of time. Well, I went out to buy something yesterday, and it took me... Oh, Mr. Wilson, yes. Uh, uh, yes, of course. Yes, I, uh, you know, I'd quite forgotten our appointment. You see, uh, my, uh, my family dropped in to see me, and uh, uh, will you excuse me? Well, suppose we say, uh, let's make it uh, 2.30 at the office on... on, on uh, uh, hey, what's the big idea? Well, uh, well, I must apologize for pushing you out of your own suite, Mr. Wilson, but, you see, just as I was unlocking the door, my family came along, and they took it for granted I lived there, you see. Well, it's uh, just a little sort of joke. Uh, I let them think I did. Oh, so that's it, huh? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Well, I won't spoil your little joke, Mr. Yeah. Stubbins. Oh. You go on letting them think it's yours. Uh, I tell you what to do. Throw a party. Have them here to dinner. Well, what about your appointment? Wouldn't it upset your arrangement? No, no, no. We've got something already planned for tonight. You stay as long as you like. Uh. Oh, and uh, charge the dinner up to me. Yeah. Oh, 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 thank you, Mr. Wilson. Thank you. Uh, that's very nice of you. That lets me out beautifully. Uh, well, are you sure that you Not want... a bit. It suits me fine. Oh, huh. well. So long, Mr. Stubbard. Uh, so long. So long. Uh, yes, so long. All right, then. We'll, uh, uh, we'll say 2.30 at the office on Friday. Right. Well, you won't forget. Goodbye. Well, there you are. You see how it is. <coughs> Can't get away from business for a moment. No chance to relax at all. Well, why not give the office a rest for today, Daddy? Yes, I think I will. That's a jolly good idea. You know, all work and no play, you know? Yes, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll come shopping with you. Oh, eh? well, and, and then we'll all come back here and have a dinner party in my suite. Oh, Lovely. Daddy, that will be marvelous. Oh, good evening. Bronx, Martini, Manhattan, Sidecar, Clover Club, Alexander? Uh, yes, yes. And with the fish, a little grave or sauterne, barsac, uh, chateau pute or chablis? Chab what? Uh, chablisa. Yes, I have a little chablisa. Maybe come in. Oh, there you are. Yes. Not ready, are we, Daddy? Oh, no, no, everything's ready. Oh, what lovely time. There you are. Lovely, lovely. Hello, Benjamin. Hello. Oh, will you sit over there, Margaret? Thank you. And will you sit here? Yes, yes. I... Ah, uh, uh, waiter, uh, garçon, you may serve dinner. Yes, sir. Careful what you're doing. Oh, wait, look what you're doing, you big one. Oh, what do you think of oh, shut up, will you? Are you sure there's no chance of Stubbings turning up? Not a chance. I got him all set. But that I think I better check up on him. But I said, uh, as your lordship pleases, and that rather tickled the old boy. And of course, <laughs> we won the case, and uh, we, we've cost heavy costs, too. Oh. Uh, you're not drinking your wine, my dear. Don't you like it? Mm, it's nice. Uh, it should be. It's uh, Chablis, sir. <clears throat> oh, dear. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, excuse me, will you? Yes. Hello? This is Wilson, Mr. Stubbins. Uh, oh, oh, yes, yes. Uh, what can I do for you? Oh, nothing. I just called up to see if everything was all right and to tell you that you needn't be in any hurry to leave my suite. We're uh, staying out late tonight. Oh, oh, that will suit me fine, Mr. Wilson. Okay. Goodbye. He's all set. Come on, let's get to work. <coughs> oh, dear. Uh, I don't know what that fellow thinks I've got an office for, you know. You big cock, why'd you hang on to that? Oh, I couldn't help it. I ain't gonna get to, hang. Oh, uh, if you want to bring the cops here, why don't you use the phone? Well, what's the matter with Oh, this? shut up. Come on, throw that ladder down. Come on, you come down with me, slug. And just you stay up here and pass the stuff down. Okay. Oh, and just to be on the safe side, in about 15 minutes, ring the hotel and check up in Stubbins. All right. Come on, stupid, and don't forget your gloves. Come on, come on. That's right, 
Oh, what a hell. What do you think I am, a sailor? All right. All right, Nick, send that stuff down. Come on, give me a hand with this, will you? All right, bring it our stuff over here. Come on. Hurry up, will you? Come on, open that bag. American cigarettes. <coughs> Are they? Uh, oh, yes, uh, yes, they are. Yes, I, uh, I very often smoke them. They're a little more expensive, but uh, I like them. <coughs> they suit my throat. I'm so glad you're coming down for Christmas, Daddy. Only I hope you won't leave as soon as you get there, like you did on my birthday. Your birthday? Why, that reminds me. I've still got your present in my office. Then you can bring it down with you. Bring it? No, oh, no, you shall have it tonight. I'll go down to the office now and get it. Oh, no, Daddy, don't bother. I can easily wait until Christmas. No, 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 you've waited quite long enough. You won't wait another minute. I'll go and get it. I, I'll be there back in a jiffy. Oh, thanks. I, uh, oh, Daddy, don't bother. No trouble at all, my dear. It's uh, quarter to nine now. I can be back by nine o'clock. Hello? Hello? That's funny. I was just ringing you up. Ah. Ah, are you still on the job? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I just wanted to tell you that uh, I can't find Alex's father anywhere. Oh, well, have you, uh, have you got the right book? No, 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 you're, you're in the wrong century. <laughs> Why, Alex's father couldn't have been born then. The book he wants over here. Oh, 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 no, 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 I think it's over here. Oh, well, you must have moved them. Yes. Yes, yeah. yeah, this is the one you want. But uh, why not leave it till tomorrow? Oh, I feel like working tonight. Oh, well, all right. But uh, don't forget who you're looking for, you know. Alec McCracken's father, 1782. Oh, and if you, uh, if you happen to come across him, I'll show you where he goes on the family tree. Yes. Hurry up, you all set? Okay. Get ready to start. Now, don't forget to put him down. If I find him, I'll put him down there. Love me! He's done it! What hit me? Who done it? The Stubbins. How'd you get here? Hey, what's the idea of letting this guy down here? Well, I couldn't help it. He walked right through the hole. Why, Mr. Wilson? Why, what's happened? Where am I? Ah, uh, you're in Trafalgar Square, feeding the pigeons. Feeding the pigeons? Shall I let him have it, boys? No. Now, get this. You mind your own business and keep out of the way and you won't get hurt, see? Come on, boys. Let's get busy. Why, it's the bank. But the safe's open. Here, here, here. You, you're, you're not in the bank. Uh, you're telling me. Yeah, but you, you mustn't do that. No, who says so? I do. I, I wanted to do it. You, come away. Come out of there. Come out. Get away from there before you get hurt. Uh, no, I, I shan't. I, I wanted to do it. I won't stand for it. Then lay down. Oh. Okay, boss. Isn't it time your father was back? He ought to be here by now. Oh, it's a long 15 minutes. Yes. I wonder what's holding him up. All right, boys, take him away. That boys? Yes. All right, what are we going to do with this mug? We'll take him along with us. Come on, get this stuff together here. I'm going to put the, put the, take this stuff outside and give it a look. Answer. I'm not sure your mug's like it. Hello? Is Mr. Stubbins there? This is his daughter speaking. It's for him. His daughter. Tell her he'll be right there. He won't be a minute. There, Auntie. They're calling. Go on, Slug. Pull them together. Come on, come on. Here, wait a minute, I'll fix them. Yes, 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 well, what is it? Wait, wait, oh. Now get this, your daughter's on the telephone. Tell her you're busy at the office, and get them out of my rooms. Uh, but, uh, they're, they're waiting for me, they expect me back. Go on, go on, do as I tell you, will you? Come on, get busy, get busy. Hey. Uh, hello, Barbara. Oh, hello, Daddy. What's happened to you? 
Oh, something awful has happened. Uh, some, something awful, awfully uh, important happened to crop up when I came in the office. Don't tell me it's that Wilson man again. I, I don't think you'd better wait for me. Uh, I'll, I'll try and see you tomorrow. But we're going home tonight. Uh, oh, well, uh, I, I'm sure I won't be able to get away. So uh, uh, say goodnight to Auntie for me. Uh, will you? Uh, goodbye, dear. Goodbye. Finished? Yes. Good. Come on, boys, get this stuff out of here. Blimey, not a bad night's work, eh? Easier than I thought it'd be. Yeah, but if we had it did it my way, it'd have been much easier. This stuff had gone through the ceiling as a lot of hooey. I'd like to go right smack in the front door. Last year, I'm out in South Bend, Indiana, see? I looked up, and right smack in front of me is a bank. In three minutes, I was in and out of the bank with a load of dough. Why don't out. you dry up? I've counted this one pile three times already. You and your South Bend. Hello, Stubborn. Pull up a chair. <coughs> what? Well, there's nothing of the kind. Well, I wouldn't dream of sitting down with you. You, you, you you're, you're dishonest. You're nothing but a, a, a lot of common burglars. You, you, you broke me into a bank and you, you've done it through my office, too. What's more, you, you've ruined my office for. The account is. Oh, sure. Uh, uh, well, what? It's nothing of the kind. Well, I, I wouldn't touch them. You, you stole them, you count them. Why, you, you, you've broken the law. You, you've taken stuff that doesn't belong to you. You can't do that here. They won't allow you. And I'm going to see that you get what you deserve, too. I'm going straight out and tell the first policeman I see. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, you're going to tell a policeman. Uh, yes, the first one I see, too. Good, show him that. All right, I will. <coughs> Served you jolly well right. You thought you were clever, didn't you? Well, you're not. They've got fingerprints. Do you know what that means? Yes, it means you'd better duck. They're yours. Mine? Yeah. You ought to wear gloves when you handle a safe. Oh, dear. Oh, what a pity. Oh, come on, Stubby. Keep your mouth shut and everything will be all right. Yeah, this will pay for the office floor. No, 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 I, I wouldn't touch it. And if I were you, I'd ring up the bank and tell them you're going to bring all that money right back. Yeah, and if I were you, I'd put on my gloves and get out of town. Don't forget, you're the only one they got anything on, so be a good little boy and keep your trap shut. Uh, yeah. oh. Cheerio. Merry Christmas. Same to you. What? Can I see Mr. Stubbins, please? His room's upstairs, number four. Thank you. Come in. How do you do? Oh, oh, good evening. Good, good morning. Are you Mr. Stubbins? Uh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, well, well, what is it? I'm from the yard. Yard? Uh, whose yard? Scotland Yard. Oh, Sergeant Collins. Oh, oh well, how, how are you, uh, Mr. Collins? Uh, Inspector uh, Sergeant. Mr. Stubbins, last night the bank under your office was robbed. No. Yes, and they got in through a hole in your floor. I'd like you to come along with me. Uh, eh? We think you may be of some help to us. Oh, oh, yes, yes, I'd be very pleased to help you. Yes, yes. Uh, have you any idea who did it? Oh, yes, we've one or two good clues. They always leave something behind them to give themselves away. Will you come along with me now? Uh, yes, yes. All right. Come along, sir. This is Mr. Stubbins, Inspector. How do you do, Mr. Stubbins? Uh, how do you do? <coughs> That's your office up there? Uh, yes, yes. Well, that's how they got in. Ah. <coughs> Why, uh, that was a long drop. Eh? Uh, I, I say that would be a long way to drop, wouldn't it? Yes, but they used the ladder. Oh, did they? Oh. I'll go and have a look around upstairs. Yes. Do you mind coming along with me, Mr. Stubbins? Yes. Uh, no, no, no. So I don't know. Uh, Mm -hmm. 
Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What a mess. What a mess, isn't it? Yes. Find any more fingerprints, Joe? No, just that set on the safe, that's all. The rest of them must have had gloves on. You better have a look around here. All right, I'll go down and get my stuff. Do you think you'll catch them? Well, there shouldn't be much trouble about the one who left his fingerprints in the safe down there. One of the best sets I've seen in years. <laughs> he might just as well have left his visiting card. Excuse me, Mark, will you? Oh, dear, there must be a million of them. Well, Mr. Stubbins, I don't think we'll take up any more of your time. Joe will be through any minute. Oh, uh, you mean I can go now? Huh? Yes, for the present. I expect we'll get in touch with you later. Oh, oh, uh, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Find anything, Joe? Looks like a couple here that might tell us something. Now what's eaten here? Listen, I've just come from the bank. They've got policemen all over the place asking questions and, uh, and looking for fingerprints. And just as I left, I, I heard they'd found something. What on earth am I going to do? Joe, I told you what to do. Put on your gloves and scram. Scram? Yeah, blow, duck, get out of town. Hey, but what, what about the fingerprints? Suppose they find out they're mine. If you keep out of the way, they've no chance of comparing them. Oh, no, yes, that's right. I didn't think of that. Yes. Well, I, I, I'd better go, hadn't I? Yeah, while the going's good. Yes. But where shall I go? Oh, go, go anywhere, but get out of town. Go hide yourself in the country. In the country? Yes. Yes, yes, that's just what I'll do. Yes. Come on in, Wimpy, dear. Oh, well, oh, don't be silly. Come along. Come on, I'll sit down and relax for a little while. Your sweet pie, you. Come see. <laughs> what is that? a long time since I've stayed out all night. And what a stay-out you are, too, baby. <laughs> oh. Where have you been? Where have we been? <laughs> We've had a wonderful time. Been to five nights, son. Had breakfast at the cutest little country inn. Drove to Brighton and back, and here we are. And am I tired? Oh, uh, you don't know Wimpy, do you? This is my brother, Duke uh, Douglas. Uh, this is Wimpy, uh, Sir Roger Wimpleton. How do you do, Sir Wimbledon? I must apologize for keeping your sister out so late. You kept me out. I should say it was the other way around. I kept you out. Uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm afraid I shall have to be going. No, 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 you don't. Not before you've had it. Really little pick me up. Uh, Duke uh, Douglas, uh, fix an order drink. Oh, well, well. Come on, come on. Just a very, very small one. Oh, you know, Wimpy, I think you're an old meanie for not asking me to your Christmas party. Oh, my dear, I'd like to, but you but you know how it is. No, I don't know how it is. All I know is that it's Christmas, and I'm far away from home, and I'm going to be a very lonely little girl. Oh, my dear, I wish I could, but I don't see how it can be arranged. I tell you what, you invite my brother, and he'll bring me. Eh? Uh, yes. Yes, sir. This is a topping idea. I'll, I'll expect you both. Oh, goody. Douglas, did you hear? What? Wimpy's after to his Christmas party in the country. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. No, by the way, I forgot to tell you, it's fancy dress, you know. Oh, how nice. Yeah, isn't that well? Oh, here. Well, <laughs> cheer ho. Cheer ho. <laughs> ah, well, now I really must be going. Well, if you must. <laughs> yes. Goodbye, Mr. Van Dusen. I shall be seeing you at Christmas time. Oh, Christmas time. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
My dear, look after the van you for me. Delighted. Come here, sir. Uh, well, uh, haven't you any whiskey? Yes, sir. Oh, well, uh, I'll just have a small, um, a small double. Very good, sir. Soda, sir? Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, oh, did I do that? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Starting rather early, aren't you? Oh, it's, uh, oh, it's Roger. Oh, oh, I didn't know you. Well, it's, uh, Henry VIII, isn't it? Hmm? Oh, it's, uh, it suits you. I like the beer, too. It's, uh, very effective. You should always wear it. Yes, it does. <laughs> oh, Dad. <laughs> this is Mr. Stubbins, Barbara's father. How do you do, Mr. Stubbins? Oh, how do you do, Lord Robert? Dad. <laughs> He's got... <laughs> well, you'll excuse me, won't you? <laughs> Will you excuse us? We must speak to Mr. Stubbins. Oh, quite certainly. <laughs> Come along, dear. Talk to you about Stubbins, this is a surprise. Yes, I didn't expect we'd run into each other down here. No, neither did I. Uh, you people know each other, then? Oh, yes, Mr. Stubbins has handled some business for us. I had no idea of that. Oh, I knew he wouldn't mention it. It was very confidential. Oh. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have a little surprise for you all. Come along, Harry. Mm. Hey, what are you doing here? Does Sir Roger know who you are? No, and if you want to keep your health, you won't tell him. Now, look here, Wilson. Oh, can I, Wilson? Stop. Down here, I'm known as Van Dusen. Do you get that? Van Dusen? Yeah. So you are up to some monkey business. I, I, I'm telling you, I'm not going to stand for it. You know what happened to you the last time you pulled that kite? <laughs> Will you have a drink, madam? I slow. Get a load of who's here. Well, for crying out loud, what's he doing here? If he's a wise guy, he's keeping his mouth shut. Keep your eye on him, slow. Okay, boss. Gloria, dear, shall we join the ladies? There, have a shot. You'll need it before the night's over. I'll be seeing you. Hey, Roger? Yes? I hope you'll pardon this intrusion, but I'd like to see Mr. Stubbins. Mr. Stubbins? Yes. I understand he's here. Certainly. Aldrich, will you tell Mr. Stubbins to come here? Very good, Sir Roger. You have a drink? Christmas time, you know? Oh, thank you, sir. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Sir Roger would like to see you in the hall. Oh, all right. been drinking? Oh, no, sir. Find Mr. Stubbins and bring him here. Yes, sir. Excuse me, will you?
party. Well, Mr. Stubbins. Oh, well, well, what are you doing here? Well, I was playing darts, sir, just filling in the time. Oh, have you got your job back? Just temporary, sir, through Lady Wimperdon. You see, at midnight, I've got a job of climbing up a ladder to get on top of the roof. Then I've got to come down the chimney and distribute these presents to the guests. Oh. Would you care for a game, sir? Uh, no, no, I've got a little job to do myself. Oh. Any of the guests been through here lately? Well, Mr... Um, uh, Mr... Uh, well, uh, what did you say your name was? Colin. Uh, well, Mr. Collins, no guests have been in here, sir. Are you sure? Oh, quite sure, sir. I've been in here all night playing darts. Oh. Thank you, Mark. Was he looking for you? Uh, yes, I didn't want him to catch me. Oh, uh, well, if you want to get away, sir, this door leads outside. No, 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 I can't leave the house, you see, because there are certain people here that I want to keep my eye on without them knowing it. Oh, well, is there anything I can do to help, sir? No, I don't think there is, no. I don't... Yes, yes. I'll tell you what you can do. Mr. Dear, you haven't forgotten your promise, have you? Did I promise something? Mm -hmm. You promised to show me the family heirloom. Oh, so I did. Well, well, this is a good time. Come along. Mm -hmm. Have you found him yet? No. That fellow's never anywhere when he's wanted. Valuable of the lot. Isn't that gorgeous? They're so lovely, I just hate to take them off. Couldn't I keep them on for a little while, just to show my brother? Well, my dear, you, you see what I mean. It's, uh, it's rather... Oh, please. Why not? There's no harm in it. But, my dear... Oh, she looks lovely in them. Come along. Oh, thank you. My brother will enjoy seeing them so much. Doesn't you know? He uh, sometimes selects odd pieces. Oh, how interesting. Now, well, with this on, I'll be able to keep my eye on those cooks and dodge that detective at the same time. Quite right, sir. Uh, thanks to you. Attention, everybody! I have an announcement to make. Silence. Now, listen, everybody. In a few moments, it'll be Christmas Day. So if you'll all sit down like good little boys and girls, I have a surprise for you. Everybody sit down. That's right. How's that? Well, your own grandmother wouldn't know you now, sir. No, it's not her I'm worrying about. <laughs> Don't forget your bag, sir. Oh, oh no. Come here, you mug. Yes, you, and bring your bag with you. Come on over here. Dump that junk out of there. Come on, hurry up. Shake it up, shake it up. Now listen, start down there with that guy with the spurts on. Come on, hurry up. Watch him down there, Nick. Keep an eye on him. All right, Scotty, chill out. All right, lady, get that lot of ice off your chest. Come on, take them off, take them off. Don't be bashful. What's going on? Stick up your mitts. You can't do that sort of thing here. Give me that gun. Okay. That'll learn you. 
You too. No, keep that junk on. That's no good to me. Yeah. Well, you're next. Put them in. Oh, but you can't take these. They don't belong to me. Well, that's his tough luck. Really, Come I... Come on, hurry up and shut up. All right, lady, take them off. Come on, shell out all of them. Peel them off. Peel them off. Now, look here. This has gone far enough. I... Oh! Oh, Ben, it's touching a hand. Come on now, take them all off. Good King Winslet looked out on the feast of Stephen. All right, Sandy, swim. And you must move, I'll blow your brains out. What's that? Blow me, he's down the back. Why, that dirty truck. Just a minute, you. Bring that bag over here, Santa Claus. Put that bag, babe. Thank you. What? Oh, no, you don't. Come on, get over there. Oh, that's your little game, Miss Van Dusen. Van Dusen? Why, her name is McCracken. McCracken? Her name's Goldie Kelly. Kelly? And this is Duke Wilson. We've known about him for some time. Good work, Santa Claus. Thank you. <coughs> Daddy Dobbins! So it's you, is it? Yes. You know these people? Well, I ought to. They made a mess of my office floor. They're the people that robbed the bank. Thank you, Santa Claus. A very nice little Christmas box. You're welcome. Yes. <coughs> ah, oh. Silence, everybody. A very Christmas, girls and boys. I bought you jewels instead of toys. And now, in spite of what you think, it seems to me I've earned a drink. You're right, old chap. You saved us lots of trouble. You deserve a drink. Well, I'm a double-double. <laughs> 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 